Okay, let's play. We've been exploring an aspect of pretend play called object transformation. This is when children, or adults, use one object to symbolize or represent something else. A fun way to work on object transformation is to take simple, ordinary objects that you have found and put them together in new ways. And Jay and I are playing with a bucket of old bolts and washers, screws and other miscellaneous items I've collected. Of course, we first sorted through the pile to make sure everything was safe to use. We are transforming the pieces by pretending they are something else. Let's listen in. What is all this stuff? Well, I found some bolts and some washers and I don't even know what those are called. Laying around and I thought it might be fun to make something out of them. I just thought we'd play. I was going to make something with the bolts, maybe. I thought you might want to join in. Sure. Yeah. I made sure to invite MJ to play and make something with me. I suggested to him that I was pretending that the pieces were actually something they were not, which signaled to him we were pretending. You may need to spend time with your child building and pretending with a variety of items in order to convey that what they are doing is transforming them. After a while, suggest your child try building a creation of their own. MJ didn't need much encouragement. Tell me what you're doing. Um, I'm trying to build a robot from a movie. Robot from a movie? What movie, MJ? Um, The Incredible. Ah! Be sure to encourage and support pretending. Remember, there isn't a right or wrong way to pretend when you're using the found objects in new ways. MJ created a pretty convincing spider robot, but it is okay if you have to stretch your imagination. Any transformation your child does is beneficial. I know you've heard this before, but you will know you are making progress when your child begins to imitate, follows directions, and responds to your actions. Don't forget to work on the general play strategies when you are transforming. Get your child's attention by starting with an object or activity they enjoy. Use repetition. Repeating the game in the same way builds interest and provides your child with an opportunity to join in with something they are familiar with. Keep your language simple. Only introduce one new thing at a time. And most important, make play visual. I think you'll find creating objects with ordinary things you find around your home to be a great way to spark play. Have fun.